Yeah. Good evening and from Hatfield Ice, it is the Class AAA Flyers Cup Championship game and LaSalle College High School. Jordan Coons alongside, apologies for the late start here, 15.54 remaining in the opening period and no score, a couple of chances either way. Both of these teams storied programs, LaSalle looking for their 12th Flyers Cup Championship, Malvern Prep. Looking for their 11th. Here's Ben Felicki out of the corner for LaSalle. Drives this into the corner. Played up the wall and out to center. LaSalle take it there with Declan Kelly. And on the backhand will serve this into the Malvern defensive zone. Poked along here to the near side wall. Taken by Pax Hoyshek, who turns it over. A centering pass. And that's forked wide of the goal. Played back to the blue line. Here's a shot that's deflected up and out of play. In a sold-out house here at Hatfield Ice, no score. It was sold out the last AAA game here. And more of the same here tonight. Fifteen twenty left, opening period. No score if you're just tuning in on this presentation of the 2024 Flyers Cup Championship game. Sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Here's a pass in front that's deflected. Comes back to the line. Another shot that's deflected up and out of play. Cameron Ross letting that one go from distance. And it elevates off a Malvern prep stick up and out of play. Malvern in the navy blue uniforms with the white numbers on the back, blue numbers on the sleeves. LaSalle in the white uniforms with the blue lettering, numbering, and a gold trim. Puck to center, and eventually it's worked free by Malvern. Here's Jonathan Holt, who's checked, and LaSalle will take over. It was LaSalle this year that finished 20-3 and three during the regular season. Outscored their opposition by a 4-1 to one margin during the season. The number one seed against the number two seed here in AAA. As a shot from distance is smothered. That was Tom Doucet with the opportunity and a save made by Matthew Crawford, who enters tonight with a .50 goals against average and a 978 save percentage here during the Flyers Cup championship or during the tournament. Jacob Rossi for LaSalle with a 1.50 goals against average and an 897 save percentage as Crawford's forced to make a big save from the slot. Kept alive, left circle by LaSalle, puck in the air, gloved down by the Friars. And the move up with the puck with Aiden Kelly from the center stripe fires in. And that'll be smothered by Jacob Rossi. Nothing else there. And a face off in the LaSalle defensive zone. 14-17 left opening period. Shots favoring LaSalle. 5-1. to The Explorers have had the better of the opportunities. Face off to the right of Rossi and... The win belongs to LaSalle. Pass to center to Alistair St. Hilaire. On the left wing side, picks up a friend. Backhander wide from Julian Tarsi. Picks up Dean Carvalho, leading scorer on this LaSalle group. He's marked, puck cleared, and chipped the distance all the way down into the LaSalle zone. This is icing against Malvern Prep. Well, this game was sold out last night. Tickets came and they went fast. So if you wanted to be here, you missed your shot, but we're glad you're here with us here on SFBN's production of the Flyers Cup AAA Championship. It'll be followed by the AA Championship between Council Rock South and Penridge. Patrick Brace behind the net for LaSalle. Nudge there by Braden Ball. Flicked along for Ryan Wiley to the point. Wrist shot. That's deflected wide. LaSalle will keep the zone at the left point. Courtesy of Logan Dekas. Still up for grabs at the left wing boards. The Explorers have it. Back of the line. Dekas again. Shoot. Save. Rebound. Score. Ryan Wiley cleans up the crumbs for LaSalle. one nothing Explorers. 13-18 left in the opening period. The pass-off pad works to perfection. It's Wiley's second of the tournament. 
And it is 1-0 Explorers. The rebound in front of Crawford was not a juicy one, but it was enough for Wiley to dig it out of the pile and smack it into the back of the net to give the number one ranked Explorers the 1-0 lead here in the AAA Championship. Wiley from Charles Kennedy. And that's Kennedy's first point of the Flyers' Cup. 1-0 LaSalle if you're just tuning in. 13-13 to go opening period, and it's another face-off win for the Explorers. A shot to save, and a rebound stopped in it on the second chance. The Explorers score again. Benjamin Felicki at the net mouth, and the Explorers lead it 2-0. Two, two goals within about 20 seconds. Felicki's second goal of the Flyers' Cup. And the Explorers are all over it here in the first period. Another rebound. Crawford made a sensational save on the second chance, but Felicki was there to put it home. Felicki from Carpenter. At the 3.55 mark of the first period, and it's all Explorers early. Here comes Malvern Prep trying to make something happen. Jeremy Jacobs, their leading scorer, tees one up. And a stop made by Rossi. Puck into the corner, and LaSalle has it there off the boards. Waiting right there at the blue line as the Friars try to keep the zone at the point. Here's Jacobs with it again. Slides by a defender and shoots off the side of the net. Caroms here to the near side. Foot race on for this puck. And Malvern Prep will get there first. Slipped along to the weak side. Henry Tesserero checked there. Puck loose and eventually worked to center by the Friars. Quickly smacked through center all the way down. This is icing against Malvern Prep and a 2-0 score for LaSalle. Ryan Wiley from Charles Kennedy and Benjamin Felicki from James Carpenter. Those are your goals to this point for the Explorers who have the puck in their own zone. William Gregorio unable to get that puck past the neutral zone for checking of the Friars. They'll try again. Gregorio getting the legs moving through center, and he turns the puck over right at the line. And the Friars make something of it, a pass off target. And the Explorers have it back now. Donahue waiting at center, and he'll dump it down before the center red stripe. Icing against LaSalle here with 11.36 to go opening period. Coverage of the 2024 Flyers Cup sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Alex Fusaro for LaSalle has gone back to the room. I don't know if it's an equipment issue, but he went back with no assistance, so perhaps that was the case. Here's a shot from the point. Keep an eye on it, see if he returns and when. Puck cleared by the Explorers right in front of us here high above center ice. Puck now to the Friars defensive line, and here's Cole Skarbinski. And he is flattened right at the line by two. Jeremy Jacobs follows up on the right wing side, shoots. It's blocked in front by Dekas, and it's cleared out to center by the Explorers. Added right back in from whence it came as Rossi puts it up on a tee for the Explorers to bring it. Lead dish, a stick tie up, leads to a turnover. And now the Friars will take it from their own end, but they turn it over themselves. Tarsi from the corner gets a return pass. Tarsi centers, that's off a of shin pad. And Malvern will bring it to center. Brought by Teague Murray. And on to the wing here for Matt Barbicane. Or sorry, that's Jeremy Jacobs cutting it right to the goal. And a save made Rossi with the left pad down at the post. And he will cover. Jeremy Jacobs with two goals during the tournament. 32 points during the regular season. Between both of these teams has the most points individually speaking. And that's by quite a bit. Fusaro back on 
the ice here. You see him heading all the way across. Must have been an equipment issue, so he's back on the bench for LaSalle. Explorers jump on the faceoff here. We'll get someone else to take it. And Kennedy wins the faceoff for LaSalle as the puck is out at center. Popped up in the air. Loose puck, Kennedy chasing after that puck in between the circles. Couldn't get to it. Though the Explorers do eventually get to it. Shot for the point, score! Tipped in front, Kennedy might have got a piece. LaSalle leads it 3-0 here in the first. Cameron Ross let it go from the point. The big man from well out. I don't know if that was tipped on route or not. But nonetheless, it's another goal for the Explorers with traffic out in front of the net. And the number one Explorers are all over Malvern Prep here in the first period. Ross is going to get credit for the goal right now from Wiley and Kennedy. So that's three goals in about two and a half minutes for LaSalle, and they're not done. James Carpenter looking to weave his way into the attacking zone. Oh, a big hit. Through Braden, bombed out of the ice is a centering pass, and LaSalle scores yet again. Grant LaGreca, 4-0 Explorers. Third of the tournament for LaGreca. And it is an avalanche here in the first period for the Explorers. Timeout, Malvern Prep. It looked like an innocent shot from the base of the right wing circle, but it slips in between the pads of Matthew Crawford. Four goals on 13 shots for the Explorers, the number one ranked team in the AAA bracket. LaGreca with the tally, and it is all LaSalle College High School here in the first period. And the message from the Malvern coaching staff right now has got to be, got to settle down here. Got to get pucks deep in their zone and get the puck out of ours. Four nothing, Explorers. Four goals. within three minutes and 22 seconds. Wiley from Kennedy, Felicki from Carpenter, Ross from Wiley and Kennedy, and LaGreca unassisted. Well. LaSalle has been undeterred in their March here to the championship game, and they are all over it here in the first period of this championship game. Malvern Prep right now has to stem the tide and get the next one. If anything, they need to get the next one. You can't fall down five here in a game like this. Gregorio for LaSalle up the boards. Malvern Prep crashing in on the far half wall. Looking to make something happen, eventually wand it into the high slot, but cleared out to center. Taken by Colin Innskeep, and ahead, oh, another big hit. Charles Budd laying the hammer. LaSalle can smell it right now. They are all over things here in the first. Pitchfork to center, Gregorio has the puck, slams it off the near side wall and down into the Malvern prep zone where it is icing. Shots on goal, 13-3 LaSalle, and where it counts on the scoreboard, four to nothing. LaSalle during the regular season Average just under five goals per game. 
At the point, wrist shot. Tough save by Rossi. Bid that came from Brady Doyle at the blue line. Friars dump it back in. Rossi puts this up on a tee. As the Explorers look to get moving, a pass though intercepted out at center. And trouble there for the Explorers in their own zone. As Declan Kelly is checked. Here's Dikas. Pass off the boards. Picks up San Hilaire. And now Carvalho looking to pull the string. Carvalho right to the cooker. And that's off a stick and wide of the net. Jacobs to the rebound looking to gallop ahead. He loses the puck. Meanwhile, an opportunity for St. Hilaire. Whistled wide of the net, and then on the second try, it's stuffed back into the pads of goaltender Matthew Crawford, who will hold on to it and get a whistle in the Malvern defensive zone. Draw to the right of the right-catching goaltender, Crawford. As the Friars get moving with Jacobs, immediately swarmed upon up the wing. Batted free for a second, loose puck. And the Friars have it back. Quick swing and a miss on that clearing attempt. Wiley will bring it back in the midst of a three-on-two. Chips a pass in front that's taken away and slipped out to center back into the LaSalle zone. 4-0 Explorers here in the AAA Championship of the 2024 Flyers Cup. A giveaway and back come the Friars. Holt from the angle and a save by Rossi. LaSalle has created turnovers. They've pounced on rebounds, created chaos in the Malvern defensive zone, and haven't given up a lot of opportunities themselves. It's been well executed from the start here for the Explorers. LaGreca to chip in and chase. Getting help from Felicki, two goal scorers to this point. And eventually giving chase. LaGreca spilled, but the puck ends up here on the near wall. Back to the line, intercepted. And here come the Friars through center. And James Young will send deep into the LaSalle defensive zone. Gregorio in control. Pass off the boards and redirected deep off the stick of Felicki into the Malvern defensive end. 6.40 to go. First period, 4-0 LaSalle. Cross corner and the dump in for Malvern. Gregorio there, D to D, turns it over. The puck in front, turnaround bid save, and Rossi's got it covered. A second hack there on the rebound for the Friars. But Rossi covers up. That was Murray at the net front for the Friars, but he couldn't poke it underneath the pad. Keeps it. Score zero for the Friars. Dikas and then ahead. Ramped off the stick of Fusaro, but before the center red, and so icing is the call. 6-19 to go opening period, 4-0 explores the number one seed here in the AAA bracket of the 2024 Flyers Cup. Ahead of the state championships on Saturday. Logan Dekas to center. Fusaro for an open wing that's turned over. And Malvern will dump it down in on goal. And Rossi just paddles that one away. And time for the Explorers to get moving. Though they turned it over. Here's an opportunity for Jacobs cutting right to the net. It was poke checked and on the second chance is forked wide. All it takes is one chance for Jacobs. And he comes close there to getting the Friars on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, the battle behind. Fusaro trying to flip it to the slot. That's cleaned up by Jacobs. And he is off to the races. Jacobs on the right wing for the Friars. Centers the puck in front. It's off a stick. Arrives back in behind the LaSalle net. Eventually taken control by LaSalle. And to center, San Hilaire will move it up. Carvalho on the left wing. Try to dangle. No dance partner there. 
Loose puck here on the near side wall, and the Explorers have it again. Sent around to San Hilaire, then back to the blue line. Here's a shot, a fadeaway one from Ross that misses everything and goes up and out of play. Four goals in three minutes and 22 seconds for the LaSalle College High School Explorers. And a steal as LaSalle has the puck. Backhand dish across. Here's a chance, and Crawford gets a blocker on that and sends a blistering wrister from the right circle up and out of play. Certainly some talented alumni have come from both of these squads in the past. My paths have crossed with two of them, one in particular a lot more than the other. Kenny Connors, who played for Malvern Prep. Currently a sophomore at the University of Massachusetts who will play Boston College in the second round of the hockey's tournament. Or should I say it's the third round, technically. So this puck comes out to center. And sent back deep by the Explorers. Sam Lipkin, who just won a national championship with Quinnipiac, a high-profile alum here of LaSalle. He was part of the, uh, what we, or I guess I should have called him that. I, I don't know if I did during my time in Dubuque, but they were kind of the evil empire in Chicago. Lipkin, who won a Clark Cup with the Steel and then eventually... A national championship in Quinnipiac's win over Minnesota, the 2023 NCAA National Championship. Both Lipkin and Connors drafted by NHL teams. Meanwhile, the Friars have the puck in the offensive zone for a second, but it is cleared back down. So Inskeep has to race back and get some support from Skarbinski. Turns it over. Inskeep helping out defensively, but once again, there are the Explorers making a mayhem in the offensive zone, but eventually turned back by Malvern Prep. Chip and chase time for Aiden Kelly. Rossi puts that up on a tee. Here at the near side wall, turned over. Inskeep with it there, shooting. Pad stop, Rossi, rebound into the corner. And the Friars were changing defensively, so nobody home at the blue line. 3.20 to go, opening period. Rossi, no problem with that one. 19-3 during the regular season, a 1.53 goals against average, and a 9.40 save percentage. He was outstanding during the regular season for the Explorers. Off the draw, hard shot, missed the net on a face-off win for Malvern Prep. Golfed up in the air, and a loose puck tied up by the Friars. Kelly up the right wing, and he'll move into the corner. Sorry, check that. That's Hoyshik with Jacobs helping out. Hoyshik tied up there out of the corner. Jacobs helps out in behind the goal. I think he tried a Michigan there, but it... Did not work out as planned. Puck to the line. Jacobs keeps it in. Nifty stick work high in the zone. Corralled upon by two. Explorers defenders and forced to give it up and clear it out. Loose puck though. Chance here for the Explorers. A save by Crawford on the opportunity by Felicki. And eventually he's able to cover after the puck had popped free. And a faceoff will be to Crawford's left. A wacky one here tonight. Malvern Prep starting to really dig their heels in and get some offensive zone opportunities. But they have not gotten on the board yet. LaSalle with a blitz of four goals in three minutes and 20 seconds as Crawford makes another save here. And the climb for Malvern Prep is a long one. But 
not insurmountable. They need the next one. That's essentially the name of the game right here. Tuck cross corner into the attacking zone. Puck to the line, and Malvern Prep will send out. Two minutes to go, opening period. A puck batted down with a high stick by Holt, and that will cause a stoppage of play and a faceoff back in the Malvern Prep defensive zone. Here at Hatfield Ice, the home of the AAA championships to start us off. And then the AA after this between Penridge and Council Rock South. Peeled along the boards. A keep at the line for a second. And the Friars take care of business and clear the zone. Corralled by Declan Kelly, turns it over. Loose puck out in front. It's along the goal line, and Rossi getting help from his defense keeps the puck out. The Friars come ever so close on an Explorer's turnover deep in their own zone. Best chance of the night for the Friars, and they can't buy one right now. And off the draw, it's a Friars tug down to the deck. Penalty call up coming. We'll have our first power play of the night, and it'll belong to Malvern Prep. Delayed call against LaSalle. Crawford on the bench for the extra attacker as Jeremy Jacobs enters the fray. Back behind the Friars net, and he will start the breakout. He's forced back by two defenders. Up the wall, poked along, and out they come. Cross ice dish is right into the teeth of the LaSalle defense. And so the touch up and the call, an easy one. Alistair St. Hilaire will get the hook for hooking. And a power play here for Malvern Prep. A tailor made opportunity for the Friars. Patrick Brace to duel with Teague Murray on the faceoff. Brace wins the draw, but the Friars keep the zone at the point. Kept alive by Jacobs at the right point. Not once, but twice. Skates into the high slot. Shoots and scores! Jeremy Jacobs from well out. It's a power play goal, and Malvern Prep is on the board here in the first period with less than a minute to go. Jacobs with good work to keep it in, not once but twice. Traffic was there with Holt in front of the net. And just 13 seconds into the San Hilaire hooking penalty, it's a goal for the Friars who have their first of the night. If Jacobs gets credit, it'll be his third of the tournament. He does from Doyle and Holt with Less than a minute to go here in the first period. So they got exactly what they needed. The next one. And they're looking for more. Centering pass in front. Loose puck in between the circles. Cleaned up. Here's LaGreca. One on one with 30 seconds left. LaGreca pulls up and shoots. Let Pat save Crawford. And he got barreled into on the rebound. Back comes Jacobs. Pokes it by a defender. And in come the Friars now. Jacobs arrives behind the net. He'll send it along the boards for Skarbinski. Try to settle it along the boards there for Jacobs, but eventually forced free with 10 seconds to go in here in the period. One more chance for LaGreca. Takes a shot. Save Crawford. And the rebound behind the goal get tied up there as the first period comes to an end. LaSalle rattled off four goals in real short order. But with less than a minute to go, the Friars are on the board. It's 4-1 to Explorers here in the AAA Flyers Cup Championship game in 2024. We're back with the second period, sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful. Spirited. Fiery. A blue hen never backs down from a challenge. And we're there to support them. 
Delaware Orthopedic Specialist, the official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware Athletics. Do you know what a blue hen is? Mid-Atlantic Showcase Series is Greater Philadelphia's premier youth hockey tournament experience, featuring events throughout the year for all ages and levels. Visit www.midatlantichockey.com to register now for the upcoming spring, summer, and fall showcases. The Mid-Atlantic Showcase Series is Greater Philadelphia's premier youth hockey tournament experience, featuring events throughout the year for all ages and levels. Visit www.midatlantichockey.com to register now for the upcoming spring, summer, and fall showcases. The Mid-Atlantic Showcase Series is Greater Philadelphia's premier youth hockey tournament experience, featuring events throughout the year for all ages and levels. Visit www.midatlantichockey.com to register now for the upcoming spring, summer, and fall. The Flyers' Cup AAA Championship game here in 2024 is sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Get your Flyers' Cup gear at the official website of the Flyers' Cup, flyers-cup.org, or at the address at the bottom of your screen. Put 17 minutes up on that clock. Second period underway. LaSalle 4 and Malvern 1. Here in this championship game, both of these teams with storied histories in this tournament. And one of them will end up with another trophy to put up on that mantle. Carvalho right down Broadway, snaps a shot. Crawford fights it off and covers. So the Friars lead it by three. It's four to one, 16 28 left, second period. And while things have equalized after Malvern Prep took the timeout, a four goal barrage in three minutes and 22 seconds has done, or rather, a four goal barrage in three minutes and 22 seconds has done a lot of the damage for the number one seed here in this AAA bracket at the point. There's a shank shot by Ross that goes wide. Malvern Prep will get it to center. Jacobs on the run, two on two, cuts middle, gets his stick lifted, and then tugged down to the deck. Penalty call up coming once again against the Explorers. It's another hooking penalty. Charles Kennedy will be your guilty party, and Malvern Prep goes right back to the power play. And things can get awful interesting if the Friars are able to convert here. Teague Murray to dig in for the Friars, wins the faceoff. And they got it at the point. Jacobs, snapshot blocked. Good work by LaGreca to block the shot and get it out. Friars send it back in, off a stick up and out of play. Faceoff will remain in the Explorers' defensive zone in a 4-1 Explorers lead over the Friars. 15-52 left, second period. 149 remains on the power play for the Friars. Murray to dig in again. He wins another faceoff. That's three in a row. A little give and go. Shot for the point. Skipping puck in the slot. And it's stopped by Rossi right out in front of the net. Murray got a piece. Battle in behind the net. Two players tie up. Everyone's arm goes up. No penalty. Back at the point. Here's a chance. It's blocked again. Another shot. And that goes wide on the attempt from Canal. At the line, Jacobs will poke this into the far corner for Malvern Prep and back along to the weak side. The Explorers win the race, but they can't get the puck out. Settled along for Jacobs in the high slot. Stick handles away from a few, leads it into the corner, gets it out in front, and it's batted wide. Loose puck right around the bend, and LaSalle will bring it. Ross, the defenseman up on the play, driving in, cuts right to the net, and he is able to put the puck in the back of the net. It's a shorthanded goal for the defenseman, Cameron Ross. That one just squeaked through. Five to one, Explorers. 
off the shot block and off to the races, given time and space. Got around Jacobs, the forward playing defense there, and it just squeaks in. Cameron Ross with his second of the night and his second of the tournament in kind. And now the Explorers lead it 5-1 to one with 14-36 and ticking here in the second period of the Class AAA Championship game of the 2024 Flyers Cup. Have a broken stick in the Malvern Prep defensive zone as LaSalle... We'll gun it the rest of the way down with 10 seconds remaining on the penalty kill for the Explorers. They force a steal at the side of the net with Crawford down, forced to make a save on Zarzitski. Here's Jacobs off to the races. Boy, is he quick. Up the left wing, shoots. Right pad save, Rossi. Centers it in front again, paddle down. And Rossi keeps that one out of trouble. Kept in at the blue line. A high headhunting shot that... Rossi covers up on the rebound, causing a disturbance at the side of the net. Five to one, LaSalle over Malvern Prep in the Class AAA Championship. Shot for the point, batted down. Loose at the side of the net, centering bid to Young. That's off target. And the puck is cleared out to center by St. Hilaire. Friars backtracking after a hard four checking by LaSalle. And here come the Friars, Holt. On the right wing, a wrist shot, stick save by Rossi. Puck to the near side wall, and the cycle continues on. Out of the corner, Young. Tied up defensively by the Explorers. Puck popped in front, and the defense is able to get there as we have pushing and shoving behind the play that's going to lead to coincidental minor penalties here. The temperature is rising here in the championship game. And more meat for the grinder on the LaSalle student section back behind the Explorer's net. Faceoff will be in the Explorer's defensive zone. No change to manpower here, or at least it shouldn't be. By the way, Ross's goal that came shorthanded is unassisted. Explorers have the puck and loft it out to center ice. Taken by Doyle, but he turns it over. Here come the Explorers again. Wrist shot, save Crawford. Rebound, and another bid is blocked en route to the net. That was Kennedy doing the honors here on the four check as the puck eventually pops free on the far half wall. Hard work being done by Brace for Kennedy. Back to the blue line. Dekas had that one go right through him. Friars content to clear the zone. 12.30 and counting here in the second period. 5-1 Explorers. Pass ahead, tape to tape. Benjamin Felick, he's got a goal tonight. Pulls the string and can't complete the play. Friars take it with Jacobs, and here he comes. 97 in navy blue, cutting wide. He shoots one wide of the net on the second bid. That's blocked in front. Alvern Prep in the navy blue. LaSalle in the white uniforms here tonight. One versus two here in the AAA bracket. 
Battle along the near side boards. Jacobs principally in pursuit, centers the puck in front. It was there for a second for Tesserero, and he couldn't get it to settle. Back the other way come the Explorers as they send into the attacking zone. Flipped up the boards, and Gregorio had pinched in and lost the puck. The other way, three on two come the Friars. Tesserero backs it off. Here's a chance. Score! Pex Hoyshik. A short side snapshot on a three on two break. Malvern's back on the board. It's Hoyshik's first to the Flyers' Cup. Backed everyone off, and Hoyshik used the defenseman as a screen and buried the biscuit on the blocker side. And so Malvern back on the board. It's a three-goal lead for LaSalle at 5-2. 11.26 to go in the second period. And a steal. Fusaro at the side of the net. Crawford the save, and the net's off its pegs. Pax Hoyshik from Holt and Tesserero. And it gives the Friars some life, though at the point. It's LaSalle looking for more. Ross, who has two tonight. Shot attempt blocked. Puck into the corner, centered again. Backhander on goal. And that's right to the Friars' crest on Matthew Crawford's sweater. Another face-off win for the Explorers, the number one seed in the AAA bracket. With a well-earned advantage, four goals in three minutes and 22 seconds have them ahead, not to mention a shorthanded tally here in the second period, up 5-2. A steal by the Explorers. There's Arzitski, who couldn't get to the net. Back at the line, kept alive by LaSalle, but it eventually comes to center. Loose puck foot race. Young first to get there for Malvern, had his stick tied up, and it leads to a chance the other way, but LaSalle is offside. Tarsi over-anxious on that pass ahead. Brady Doyle getting a shot away and a stick save. Made by the goaltender Rossi from an angle, and he gets his melon on that one. Batted up by St. Hilaire. Gets it as far as center. But back in come the Friars again. Wrist shot by Murray was muted en route to the target. St. Hilaire will bring it back in a three-on-two for the Explorers. Stops up, throws it across, tap to the net front, and Crawford dives out. Did he cover it? Yes, eventually he does at the side of the net. Crawford has been aggressive tonight. LaSalle has forced plenty of mayhem out in front of him. If you're Malvern Prep, you're looking at the scoreboard right now and saying, hey, we got two of the last three, let's keep building. If you're LaSalle, you say, we still have the three-goal lead, we're fine. Though on a turnover like that, could be trouble. Wraparound backhander goes through the crease and the net off its pegs real quick. A wraparound from Kelly on the turnover there. Almost trouble. Jacobs will dig in with Brace for the faceoff to the right. 
of Jacob Rossi. And Jacobs on the backhand wins the face off to the line. Kept alive for a second by the Friars who move it into the corner. Jacobs marked. Puck up the boards and sent into the bench here on the near side. This is the Malvern bench in the period of the long change. Defensively anyway. Do this face off again in the LaSalle defensive zone. Jacobs wins another face off. Puck squirts the near side wall. Getting to the point. Shot blocked. Jacobs gets it back, trying to bank it in. Rossi would have none of it. Jeremy Jacobs, 17 goals during the regular season. Give him three more here during the Flyers' Cup. The straw that stirs the drink for the Friars here. He is their offensive conduit, and 97 in Navy Blue has been Noticeable tonight, every shift he's been out there. Not that that's shocking in particular with his skating ability. He can create opportunities by himself. Penalty call up coming. It is an elbow. LaSalle was in possession. Malvern Prep is going back to the power play for the third time tonight. And Cameron Ross will take a seat. Well, the special teams opportunities for Malvern Prep are even. Scored a power play goal just 13 seconds into their first try and then gave up a shorthanded goal in their last power play. Face-off win for the Friars, and they're set up. Jacobs, floater, and a save. Rossi, nothing else. Just three seconds have ticked off the clock on the power play. Caden Canal winning the faceoff. Going to get it to the net. It's blocked and forced out to center by the Explorers. Friars rack it back up and move it in. Doyle to dump it in. Sent around the boards by Dekas. Past everyone and the distance it'll go. Malvern Prep will start from their own zone. Jacobs to drop things off. 5-2 LaSalle if you're just tuning in. The Class AAA Championship game. Sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Room to scoot for Jacobs. Here he comes up the left wing. Drops it into the middle, and it's fired wide of the net. That was Murray who was wide open, and he just missed everything. Crawford clips the glass with that pass ahead. Jacobs moves on to it. Skates by one. Comes up the middle. Trying to make it a second and got decked by Dekas. On near wall. Friars have it. Shot to the net. It's tipped down. And Rossi, key save there. Puck to the line. Kept alive. Another shot goes wide. Doyle feathered it through. Jacobs at the point. Gets another one to the net. And Rossi covers as he's able to pin it to the sweater. Thirty-seven ticks remain on the power play for Malvern Prep. A chance to cut this LaSalle lead down to two. Seven thirty to go, second period. Face-off win for the Friars, backhanded wide of the net. Kelly to take for the Explorers, back to the blue line, kept alive by the Friars. Skarbinski shooting, that's blocked. Friars get to the puck again. Skarbinski at the left point. Round of the cycle, that's intercepted. Ground to a halt and cleared by the Explorers. Ten seconds left in the power play for Malvern Prep. One more rush to get organized here. On the red line and deep as the Friars change up personnel. Penalties over. Back to even strength. Malvern Prep one for three on the power play, though a steal and a shot attempt. Kick out right pad saved by Rossi. 
Settled around the boards and kept alive by Holt on the near side wall. Shuttled around to the weak side. And the Explorers will golf it out on the backhand. Kelly gets it as far as center. William Gregorio on the near side wall. Pass taken away. The Friars are well offside. They have to touch up. As Malvern Prep changes up personnel. Skated to center by Gregorio. He'll float the puck wide of the Malvern Prep net as they change up. Lines as well here on the fly under six minutes to play in the second period. Hard work done and below the goal line by the Explorers. Batted back to Gregorio at the left point. Wrist shot. That's denied in front. Andrew Stark got a shin pad on that. Gregorio once again to it out of the corner. Throws it at the side of the net. The Explorers wrap it here to the near side boards and up to the point. Good keep in by Declan Kelly as all of the work being done deep in Malvern prep territory. Tessarero there just trying to clear the puck. He will all the way down, icing the call against Malvern prep. Well, the shot battle was exorbitant one way early in this game. Malvern Prep has clawed to about even. Where it counts on the scoreboard, the Explorers continue to have a comfy three-goal lead. Turnover at the blue line. LaSalle has it back with Doucette. Redirected deep by the Explorers into Malvern Prep territory. And the fight is on for the puck behind the net. Jacobs to take on the backhand. Lifts it along the shelf on the far boards, taken away, and here the Explorers have it. Carvalho to the front of the net. One more pass, comes back to the point of drive, and Crawford the save. So we have a stoppage of play before any of that. And once again, the net dislodged. The AAA Championship, it's LaSalle College High School 5, Malvern Prep 2. 4.48 to go here in the second period. Have a full intermission after the second period comes to an end. And then LaSalle will look to finish off their title run for a 12th time. Melted down by Crawford on a bid in front. Face off of the Friars defensive zone with 4.23 left in the second. If you're just tuning in here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel, coverage sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. LaSalle with four goals in the first period in extraordinarily short order. Three minutes and 22 seconds is all it took for the four goals. Carpenter to keep that alive for LaSalle, but eventually poked into the Explorer's end of the ice where it's turned over, sent on goal, save! And the rebound was there. The arm stays down. Teague Murray was right there, and I thought he got... Dragged down to the ice with that second chance looming in front. But we play on as Crawford gets a whistle and a faceoff in his defensive zone with 3.54 left in the second. Sarzitsky to take the draw for LaSalle. Doesn't win the draw, but they're able to get a shot away. And is that net off again? Doesn't take much. Gonna need to maybe drill those holes deeper. And if they're magnets, I get them to stick. Oh, 
Well, it's not as bad as there was a goaltender in my time in the USHL that played for Omaha. As a shot comes on net, Crawford the save. He would pile snow along the goal line. No one challenged him until finally there was a net front view in which it was clear as day. He was piling up snow along the goal line. He got away with it for a time, but not forever. His name escapes me. I just remember he played for Omaha. And it was maddening at the very least. Icing the call here against LaSalle. Three minutes, five seconds remaining in the second period. The Explorers lead by a trio. It's a face-off win for the Friars and a hard shot towards the net. No screen coming right to him. No problem on that save. Get a face-off. Tarsi couldn't get very far as he was defended well. Punched out to center by Cameron Ross. Right there, the Explorers sitting back a bit defensively as they have a comfy lead here. They have not had a ton of zone time here recently. Play has really been stacked here in the defensive zone for the Explorers, and they're content to keep them just kind of swirling in place along the perimeter. If it'll just continue to kill clock here. San Hilaire will skate onto this one for the Explorers. Has a man breaking to the net. Stick handles by one. Throws it to the side of the net. Backhanded through the crease. On that one touch, look for Tarsi. Had a lot of whistles here in the second period. Puck into the bench. Draw it at center, controlled by the Explorers. Dekas races in, fires one save. Rebound was there, and it's batted wide of the net. Friars get to the rebound. They can't clear, though. Other shot from Brace this time, misses the net. Kennedy swirls in, can't make a play on it. Dekas kept the zone once, but not a second time, as the Explorers touch up and head right back in aggressively on the forecheck. 90 seconds remain in the second period. 5-2 LaSalle. Swatted to the near wall. And sent in from center wide of everything. Jacobs to race onto it opposite Dekas. Jacobs gets there behind the LaSalle net. Wafts it to the point. Doyle there. Wrist shot blocked. Race on for it. Kennedy can't win it, but he gets help. Offside, though, at the line. Wiley was clear, but Kennedy was offside, and the penalty or the uh, play comes to an end. Final minute here of the second period. A 5-2 LaSalle Explorers lead. And the Explorers have the puck in the corner and wrap the target. Carpenter behind the net, centers. That's defended. Friars get to the puck and clear down. Gregorio to bat it back. Explorers calmly move through center, try to shunt to the cross ice. That's cleared out of there. With less than 30 seconds to go. From center, it's off a stick and eventually collected offside again.
I'd be curious how many stoppages of play we've had here in the second period. There have been a lot. Sticks flex on the faceoff as it's punched ahead by the Explorers into the attacking zone. Kennedy tied up in the corner. Loose puck batted to the line. Ross couldn't keep the play alive at the point. Batted free by Tessarero on the left wing. He's got a assist here tonight. Just centers. And Rossi the save with 2.7 ticks remaining in the second period. One more face-off in the LaSalle defensive zone, then we'll take a break and be back with the third period after the extended intermission. Jacobs pushed it ahead off the face-off for Malvern Prep, goes wide of the net, and the second period is done. Both teams exchange tallies in the second period. And we end the second how we ended the first. LaSalle holds serve. It's a three-goal lead heading into the third period of the Class AAA Championship game of the 2024 Flyers Cup, sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. We're back with the third period after these messages. When you're investing in Malvern Prep, you're investing in over 175 year history of all boys Augustinian education. If you're looking for a well-rounded education that prepares your son, this is the place that will build the foundation to shape you for the future. We're going to inculcate in students a love for lifelong learning and we want a strong moral character. The rest is fun, learning, exploring, and enjoying life. When you're investing in dollars. Baseball's right around the corner. Your Trenton Thunder begin their jam-packed season with an opening night celebration on Tuesday, June 4th. Come out for our Margaritaville weekend from June 7th through the 9th. Be a part of our heart-healthy night on June 25th and celebrate the 4th of July at the Thunder. Daily specials return with dollar hot dogs and kids eat free Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Cases Pork Roll Fridays, and Fireworks most Thursdays and Saturdays. There is something going on at every Thunder game in 2024. Get your tickets at TrentonThunder.com. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville Trevose today like a good neighbor state farm is there hi I'm Tommy Green former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies when I was in high school it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do my friends at payroll service solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network if you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful. Spirited. Fire. 
Blue Hen never backs down from a challenge. And we're there to support them. Delaware Orthopedic Specialist, the official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware Athletics. Hi, I'm Marty Bystrom, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. In my experience in Major League Baseball, I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you are a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Blue Stein, Michael & Company certified public accountants believe that your bottom line is as important to them as it is to you. Why? Because they care about the things that you care about. Whereas most accountants can take your numbers and put them on financial statements and tax returns, Blue Stein and Michael work with you through the year to help you solve problems by providing sound professional advice. They enable you to make key business decisions, and they are with you throughout the entire year, not just tax time. Blue Stein and Michael are not just hired hands. They are part of your team, and they provide professional service when you need it most. Blue Stein and Michael specialize in accounting, tax, and consulting services for small businesses, primarily for the construction industry. If you're looking for yes men, hire someone else. But if you want sound advice from service-oriented CPAs, then you'll want to call Blue Stein and Michael at 215-635-3200. That's Blue Stein and Michael at 215-635-3200. This broadcast is presented by the Flyers Cup and SFBN, who own all broadcast rights. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game, including social media, is strictly prohibited. Your home for Flyers Cup Apparel is Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Presenter of all of the action you've seen here throughout the entire Flyers Cup. Big fan of the hoodie in the top left. You can find it at flyers-cup.org or at the address at the bottom of your screen to get your Flyers Cup stuff today. Couple shout outs. From the LaSalle Explorers, including Charlie Kennedy. His home is that dirty area of the ice where he can score those dirty goals. He's a scoring threat anytime he's in the dirty area. He'll score standing from his knees or laying flat on the ice. He'll get that puck in the net. This is exactly what we saw from him in last year's state championship game to score the first goal of the game. Look for more of that in this year's tournament. Kennedy is one of the seniors for the LaSalle Explorers. Thomas Doucette, Alex Fusaro, Charles Budd, John Mullen, Ryan Wiley, Dean Carvalho, Ben Felicki, Pat Brace, Liam Donahue, James Carpenter, and the aforementioned Charlie Kennedy. Good luck in the Flyers' Cup, and go explore.
Suns, baseball's right around the corner. Your Trenton Thunder begin their jam-packed season with an opening night celebration on Tuesday, June 4th. Come out for our Margaritaville weekend from June 7th through the 9th. Be a part of our heart-healthy night on June 25th and celebrate the 4th of July at the Thunder. Daily specials return with dollar hot dogs and kids eat free Tuesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Cases Pork Roll Fridays, and fireworks most Thursdays and Saturdays. There's something going on at every Thunder game in 2024. Get your tickets at TrentonThunder.com. For surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Elbion Padulary in Feasterville, Trevose today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful. Spirited. Blue Hen never backs down from a challenge. And we're there to support them. Delaware Orthopedic Specialist, the official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware Athletics. Hi, I'm Marty Bystrom, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. In my experience in Major League Baseball, I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you are a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Blue Stein, Michael & Company certified public accountants believe that your bottom line is as important to them as it is to you. Why? Because they care about the things that you care about. Whereas most accountants can take your numbers and put them on financial statements and tax returns, Blue Stein and Michael work with you through the year to help you solve problems by providing sound professional advice. They enable you to make key business decisions, and they are with you throughout the entire year, not just tax time. Blue Stein and Michael are not just hired hands. They are part of your team, and they provide professional service when you need it most. Blue Stein and Michael specialize in accounting, tax, and consulting services for small businesses, primarily for the construction industry. If you're looking for yes men, hire someone else. But if you want sound advice from service-oriented CPAs, then you'll want to call Blue Stein and Michael at 215 635 Underway here in the third period of the AAA championship game of the 2024 Flyers Cup. Jordan Coons with you on the call here tonight as right off the bat, the Explorers looking to try and add on Dean Carvalho, one of these talented seniors, 28 points during the regular season, three goals here in the tournament. A hard shot that Matthew Crawford has, and he will hold on to get a stoppage of play. 5-2 LaSalle, four goals in the first, one in the second. Malvern with one in the first and one in the second. And so all hands on deck here, I'm sure, for the Friars who have a hill to climb. I imagine they're going to start taking chances here at some point. Get more offensive zone opportunities at 5-on-5, five five, though. LaSalle with possession of the offensive zone. The Friars, though, Clear at the center. Cameron Ross has two goals tonight. He evades a check and will float the puck into Friars territory. Closing it on the first minute done here in the third period. After this game, the double-A championship game will follow. Here come the Explorers. Shot save Crawford. 
Rebound behind the net. It was Wiley with the chance. And we have a penalty coming up here. Delay of game is the penalty on Colin Inskeep. So either he knocked the net off or covered the puck with his glove behind the net. And it leads to a power play for LaSalle. I think this is their first of the night. Driven to the goal line. Here's a chance from a severe angle, and Crawford the save. Rebound up in the air to the right circle. Kept alive by Wiley. Shoots the puck again, and that got glass. Barely able to keep in at the point. Kennedy one-hands it in front. Able to take back it behind the Friars net. Given time to operate here. Back at the blue line. Kept by Gregorio. Handed off to the left wing side. Get it back. Gregorio shoots through a screen. Crawford the save. Rebound. A couple of hacks at it for Kennedy. And a stoppage of play in a faceoff in the Malvern defensive zone with 121 left on the penalty to Inskeep. Walk in the line, do set, fires wide. Big carom and off the side of the net on the second chance there. Explorers power play down to a minute and 10 seconds. Do set, hands it off. Carpenter back to the blue line. Kelly back across the seam. Do set to the front, save. Crawford rebound, centered again. Comes back to the blue again for Kelly. Dusts it off, gives it to set right across, and it's fired over top of the net by Carpenter. James Carpenter back on it again. Backhands the puck to the line again. Shot blocked. Sliding block by Hoyshek, who has one of the two goals for Malvern Prep tonight. They finally clear after extended time in their zone on this penalty kill. 30 seconds left on it for the Friars. Explorers move up ice. Puck to flex off the stick of Carpenter and eventually cleared all the way down in on the LaSalle net. Everyone changes up. 14 minutes left here in this AAA championship. And LaSalle not in any hurry to move. Lead pass under the wing, disrupt it. Zarzitski across ice. Ross to carry the mail. Trying to feather that ahead, it's blocked away. Loose puck again. The Explorers get to it and try to center. It's off a skate. At center, Dikas throws it in on goal. Crawford settles that aside. Backhanded along by Inns. Keep up and out of or into center. Dikas has it back again and will send it to the Malvern line. Brushed back in on goal. Crawford with the save, though I think LaSalle was offside before any of that, and intentionally so. So this faceoff will head all the way back into the LaSalle defensive zone. 13-20 left, third period. Malvern needs three to tie. So their offense better get moving here soon. And it's a win on the draw for the Friars, but a shot at the point is blocked and advanced by Tarsi on the right wing side, getting some help. Tarsi. Bulldogged off the puck by Doyle. Kept in at the line by the Explorers. Tarsi gives chase. But the Friars have it. Jacobs off a skate and collected by Gregorio. He will skip the puck into the Malvern prep defensive zone. Centering pass. Jacobs in the way of that. And here he comes. He couldn't reel that puck in cleanly. Otherwise, he was off to the races. And you can sense that LaSalle is keying in on 97 and Navy Blue. Every time he's got the puck, all hands go to him. They know that they can meet him at the point of attack. You can disrupt a lot of this Malvern prep offense. 
Here come the Explorers. Room to scoop for Brace. Backhand dish across ice to Kennedy. He couldn't get that one to go. Back along to Brace. Trying to filter it to Kennedy. No luck. Gets it back. Kennedy, though, though couldn't stop that puck from staying in behind the net off the cycle. At the line. Dekas shoots. Tipped. Ramped off a stick wide over the top of the net. One more pass to the front of the net. Taken away. And the Explorers clear it back in on net. Long dish ahead. That's off of a stick. Puck sitting and going nowhere fast, but finally moved ahead. And a shot on goal is stopped. Felicki, who started the scoring tonight with that opportunity towards goal. Thirty-seven shots for the Explorers, twenty-five for Malvern Prep. Out of play on the bid from Ross. Coming up after this, it's the Double A Championship. Council Rock South will duel with Penridge. Here come the Friars, though. A chance the other way, saved by Rossi. Murray had the opportunity, bearing down the left wing. Ross comes to Rossi's rescue, and out come the Explorers through neutral. The attack comes LaGreca in a drop pass, wrist shots. That's sealed up by Crawford. Explorers control an offensive zone faceoff. It will backhand it around the boards. Fusaro tied up back behind the net by Baum. And along, and the Friars look to get the offense going. Filled along by Tessarero and settled down by Hoyshik. Pushed in back behind the net by LaSalle's Gregorio. Hoyshik duels it free, tried to find Jacobs at the front of the net. And that's sealed off. Friars have to reset at center. They need three to tie with 10.28 left in regulation time of this AAA championship. Sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Skipping puck heads in on goal. No icing here. Cole Skarbinski will settle things down. A home run pass off a stick into the LaSalle zone as Malvern Prep changes up here. And LaSalle is in no hurry. Puck deflects up and into the mesh. A lot of the heavy lifting done by the Explorers in the first period. Four goals and... Three minutes and 22 seconds. Which gave the Explorers a hefty lead that they have not relinquished. And they have not been taking chances offensively. They have been comfortable in the D zone. They've been content to just waste time on the cycle in the offensive zone. There's a big hit thrown by Kelly. Down to the deck goes Logan Love. Starting to see 97 out there quite a bit more. Double shifting here late in this one. And what else do you have left to lose here at this point? Get your best offensive player out there to try and make something happen. Icing will be the call here against LaSalle. 9.07 remaining in period three. And a 5-2 lead for the Explorers.
Ross with two goals tonight as a defenseman. One of them a gorgeous shorthanded tally. Muscles the puck along the corner boards. And fished free by Kennedy. Charlie Kennedy ahead it'll go. Wiley moves in. Wiley drops it. Kennedy shoots it. And Crawford the save. Kennedy pushed off the puck by Jacobs by the Friars in the D zone. Up the wall, kept in. But on the second chance, it's pushed ahead by the Friars who change up personnel. Jacobs has been out there for a long time. He's been lurking out there on this shift, and he keeps things alive. Here's a chance. It's blocked. Friars come close there, but a hard shot block in front keeps the Friars off the scoreboard. Gregorio lugged the puck through center and wired in to the Friars' end. Back to get it, Skarbinski. And pushed across ice. Off the stick of Murray to the near side and in on goal. Rossi paddles that into the corner. No trouble for the Explorers defensively. 7.44 to go. Regulation times a ticking here for Malvern Prep. One more bid. That's blocked. And the Friars get it down. It's icing, though. And the number one seed here in this Flyers Cup tournament has had the majority of the puck possession, majority of the shots, shot attempts, and the goals. 5-2 where it counts on the big board. Here at Hatfield Ice, the AAA championship, and a sold-out crowd here. And then it'll be Penridge. And Council Rock South in a 1-2 matchup in the double-A bracket. Council Rock South, a comeback win in their last game over Boyertown. And a 3-1 victory last week. And Penridge had no trouble dispatching Downingtown West in the semis. Seems like LaSalle has bullied everyone this year at this level, and they have not taken their foot off the gas pedal and creating chances. And while they haven't scored in a while, that has not been of primary importance. It's keeping the puck away from Malvern Prep, who is more desperate for goals right now. Jacobs forced to track back into his own zone for Malvern Prep. And he peels back as trouble had began to arrive, but Jacobs will get the legs moving, galloping up the left wing. Nice defensive stick by Kelly. Canceled him out and sends the puck ahead towards the goal. Crawford will let it go. Sent back in behind the LaSalle or the uh, Malvern net, and a LaSalle player went flying because he was tripped. Malvern Prep, their climb just got a lot harder. Power play explorers, 6.34 to go in the third period. LaSalle looking to go back to back and pick up their 12th Triple-A Flyers Cup Championship. Wrist shot saved, no problem. Penalty assessed to Skarbinski for hooking. Ross, right circle, throws it on net. Crawford bats it away. Puck of the line, Doucette, throws it back door. Wrist shot, Wiley, blocked. Kennedy sets up shot behind the net. Kennedy attacks, wraps it in front and scores! Charlie Kennedy, a nifty wraparound tally. It's a power play goal. LaSalle is one step closer. That is Kennedy's first point, or excuse me, his first goal of the Flyers' Cup. And LaSalle, six minutes and seven seconds away 
from a Flyers Cup championship back-to-back in 2024. That was greasy. So Kennedy the tally, 6-2 LaSalle Explorer. Under six minutes away from back-to-back -back Flyers Cup championships. And a berth in the state championship game on Saturday. Rossi sets the puck up behind the net. Gregorio spins the cycle around to the near side. It gets clear into the Malvern D zone as a result. And now the climb that much harder for the Friars. Puck in the air, skipping Biscuit, heads towards the Friars net, rescued before it even got there. A steal, though. Felicki. A back pass that was blind, but eventually taken over by the Explorers and dumped in. Five minutes left in this one. Centering pass blocked. Hoyshik will flip this into the Malvern prep bench. Shortly after the conclusion of this one, Council Rock South and Penridge will duel. Face-off win for the Explorers and sent deep. Crawford slowed it down. And the Malvern defense will punch this ahead. Two on one. Jacobs is in. Save made. Rossi, big rebound out in front. Spread Eagle style. Keeps the puck out. Jacobs with the triple deke, but Rossi undeterred. Here he comes again. Jacobs down the wing, throws it on goal. Rossi the save. The Explorers come up with the rebound. Is that the dagger right there? Four minutes to go. Jacobs stick handles away from St. Hilaire. Comes up the ice in a three on two. Wrist shot, save, covered up by Jacob Rossi. Incredible stop by Rossi on Jacobs right in front of the net, and he gets kudos from his teammates here. Look at this. Not to be, just keeping that right pad on the post there to keep that out, and then a jam at the net front, not to be. Wow. Best save of the night. I think my... One of the top two saves here of the tournament that I've seen so far. Here come the Friars. Shot goes wide. Intentionally so off the dump in. And the Explorers, as they've done all night, have won puck races, puck battles. Send a puck down ice, get a line change. 3.06 left, regulation time. Hard work defensively by Wiley forcing a steal and sending the Friars back into their own zone. Wiley to it, base of the right wing circle. Try to golf one in front. No luck there, but a steal. Kennedy stick handles for the Explorers, but can't get to the net front. The Explorers can taste it now, just moments away from finishing the job here, or at least part one of the job before the state championship came on Saturday. Tarsi behind the net for the Explorers, out to the blue line, wrist shot, save, and nothing else. Riley Doyle has taken over in net. And he will cover right there. And if 
I missed that from earlier, I apologize. But Riley Doyle in net for Malvern Prep. Picked up a win in his only appearance of the season. 2.05 left here in this class AAA championship game sponsored by Top Shelf Sports and Apparel. Shot, stick, save, Rossi. Count up another one, his 30th save of the night on 32 bids. Alvern Prep stuffed right at the defensive blue. LaSalle clears it down. It's icing with 1.38 left in the championship game of the AAA bracket. 12 times. A remarkable achievement for the LaSalle College High School Explorers hockey organization. Jacobs ties up the puck on the half wall, gets it back to the blue line, and a wrist shot missed everything. Alvern Prep trying everything, but the goaltender stays put. Time ticks down below one minute and 20 seconds, and LaSalle with a comfortable four-goal lead. Can they get one more here? Centering pass, and Doyle the save. Face off of the Malvern prep zone, and this place about to pop with 107 left. We'll do it again. LaSalle, by the way, closing in on 50 shots on goal tonight. They have been as advertised, and they are a minute away from claiming the title. Point to point, wrist shot, save Rossi, rebound, score! And Malvern Prep gets a late one. Tucked in by Holt. And it's 6-3 to three with 47 ticks left. Holt with his second of the Flyers' Cup tournament. Polk checked on entry. Sent in front, knocked away by the Explorers. 37 seconds left in the AAA championship. Doyle paddles this aside as Malvern Prep getting the puck out to center. Everyone on the LaSalle bench standing, waiting for triple zeros up on the clock. LaSalle College High School can add one more to the mantle. Back to back and 12 total AAA Flyers Cup champions in 2024. Six three winners over Malvern Prep. Never in doubt for the Explorers who get it done. The number one seed holds serve and have done it again. Victorious here in 2024 as they complete their Flyers Cup title defense and will advance to the state championship game on Saturday at the Skadium. A balanced effort across the board from everyone on this LaSalle team. Start to finish in this tournament. Malvern Prep 
could not survive the four goal flurry in the first period. That was enough to give the Explorers the win in this championship. Two worthy teams congratulating each other here at the end of the line. In this sphere, it's kind of an everyone knows everyone kind of deal. But the LaSalle Explorers come away victorious. Their 12th Flyers Cup championship. And they are back-to-back -back champions in 2024. Brad Marsh and... Bob the Hound Kelly presenting the 2024 Flyers Cup and also the all-tournament team. MVP and leading scorer. Grant LaGreca, Jeremy Jacobs, named to the all-tournament team here in the AAA side of things. James Carpenter. Additionally, as part of the all-tournament team, Cameron Ross had two goals in this one, and he was dominant. Deservingly so named to the all-tournament team here in 2024. Brady Doyle from Malvern Prep, the other defenseman to the all-tournament team. Jake Rossi comes away, the all-tournament goaltender. With three wins in this tournament, which is the goal. The leading scorer of the tournament is Malvern's Jeremy Jacobs. The MVP of the tournament is Cameron Ross. And now the moment everyone's been waiting for.
And there you have it, victorious in 2024, the LaSalle College High School Explorers for the 12th time in their history, Flyers Cup champions. Thanks for tuning in to this AAA championship game. For everyone here on the SFBN crew and Top Shelf Sports and Apparel, Jordan Kuhn signing off. The AA championship is next. Until then, we'll see you in a bit. This broadcast is presented by the Flyers Cup and SFBN who own all broadcast rights. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of this game, including social media, is strictly prohibited.